Okay. Right, so I just bought this about a week ago. And to pass the time, I think I'm going to uh, put this in and uh, review the episodes that are on this. So, yeah, strap in, I'm going to start reviewing uh, season 11 of Doctor Who. So, yeah, I'm going to start doing this. Right, stay tuned. Okay, so here's the uh, the Blu-ray cover. So, yeah, um, I'm excited for this. So, yeah, I, I've been a Doctor Who fan for a while now, so... I'm gonna unbox this and take a look what's inside. Alright, so I mean inside the box set isn't really overly that flash, but uh I mean it it it, it does the job I guess. I mean these are the discs themselves are, are pretty uh, plain looking. I mean, it's just it's a blue disc, but you know, I'm excited, so I'll definitely uh, pop this in tonight and just relax. And I'll tell you what, any of you guys who are watching, uh, what I think. So, okay, should, should be fun. Exactly this, um, you'd all put in today, so. It's pretty cool. Doctor Who, a complete Series 11 DVD box set, Disc 1. Select audio navigation, press enter now. Okay, so I just finished watching uh, the woman who fell to Earth, and uh, I thought it was um, it was a uh, it was a pretty good start to the uh, to series uh, eleven of, uh, of Doctor Who. I mean, the tone of the show is now very different to what it was in the past season with Peter Capaldi. Like, you can tell that um, they're going for a more serious tone now. And also, uh, Jodie Whittaker as as the Doctor. She, um, I can already tell that she's going to be very different from um, the previous two. I mean, I mean, she's just as um, you know, obsessed with justice as she as 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 she's ever been. But I, 
can kind of tell that she's not going to be as triggered as easily as the uh, 10th and most uh, specifically the, the 11th Doctor, who um, does get angry pretty easily. But um, I feel like uh, this rendition of, of the Doctor is going to be a lot more, let's say... I feel like it's going to be a more calmer approach to what the Doctor used to be. But of course that, that's going to change the more I watch it, so... I mean... It did kind of feel not really that engaging for the first episode to a Doctor Who season. I mean, I still think that the... Uh, the first episode to uh, Matt Smith's uh, um, season was probably the best season opening to any post-2005 Doctor Who season. And I still find Matt Smith to be my personal favourite Doctor of, of the post-2005 era. Because, you know, I haven't watched any of the classic Doctor Who episodes. I've only watched the uh, the modern ones, starting in 2005. Anyway, I think I would give this episode a 6 out of 10. You can definitely see that, um, I mean, the Doctor is, as I say, shit in this episode. I mean, like, she's just, she's just regenerated again and she's all over the shop. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's really aloof. She's not, she's kind of here and there. Because I, I do remember when uh, Christopher Eccleston regenerated into David Tennant, it took about three episodes for him to get back to normal again. And then we, we knew the David Tennant Doctor was going to be very different to what the first ten episodes were with Christopher. But you can tell that this character, I mean, she's the first female Doctor, and I am excited about that, so I am excited to see where this series goes, so I'm now going to watch, I think it's 10 episodes this series is, but anyway, it should be fun. I'll see you next time.